Here are a couple more examples using function notation. Example 1. If f in terms of x equals x squared plus 2, determine f in terms of x minus 2. Now, the x minus 2 makes us look a tad confusing, but let's follow through what we already know. The f indicates that we're supposed to use function f. Okay, easy. When we have something in brackets, we're supposed to replace the variable in our function, f in this case, with whatever we're given. In the past, we were given numbers and then variables, but in this case, it's a mix. Let's just do what we know. So let's replace the x in the function with x minus 2. So we have x minus 2 squared plus 2. And that's it. Exact same strategy as before. True, it might look a bit daunting, but if you stay organized, you'll be perfectly fine. To finish this one up, we could just do some algebra to simplify it a bit. Example 2. If f in terms of x equals x squared plus 2, and g in terms of x equals x minus 3, determine f in terms of t plus g in terms of t minus 2. First, let's lay out our equation f in terms of t, and we replace the variable here, plus g in terms of t minus 2, so we put the g function in place, t minus 2. And we'd have, in brackets, t squared plus 2, plus t minus 2 minus 3. Now we can remove some brackets noting carefully that they didn't impact anything in this case, but we were careful and included them. And we have t squared plus t minus 3. That's it. Exact same strategy as before. True, it looked a bit more daunting, but if you stay organized, you'll be perfectly fine.